Theater and rock music are seeking harmony with a new production of the Who's Tommy. The famous rock opera is now musical on stage at the St. James Theater. It opened tonight, and Roma Tori has a review. In 1969, the world of music was transformed with the debut of the Who's rock opera, Tommy. Today, the theater has its own new classic, and it, too, is called Tommy. Tommy, can you hear me? Can you feel me near you? Tommy, can you see me? Can I help to cheer you? But more than the music, more than the concept, the brilliant staging, performances, and technical wizardry, Tommy is a new art form. It's a symphony of sounds, images, and ideas conducted with breathtaking genius. Writer-composer Pete Townsend and director-co-writer Des Mackinac have a true original on their hands. They bombard our senses and then know just when to pull back. This is no MTV gratuitous sensory stimulation. Everything here has a purpose, and everything works. In fact, the kaleidoscope of set, light, sound, and pictures become another character on the stage, sometimes punctuating the story, other times revealing hidden meanings. And then all of a sudden, the stage clears, and we're left with just an actor or two and the purity of theater, simple and utterly powerful. You don't have to be a fan of the Who's music to appreciate the show. The story of a young boy devoid of senses who becomes a pinball wizard, then rock star, translates beautifully onto a stage. In fact, this 24-year-old musical creation that spans the 40s through the 60s is eminently relevant today, perhaps even more than ever. It deals with autism, child abuse, media manipulation, family values, materialism, teenage rebellion, even resurrection. Hard to believe so much can be crammed into one Broadway show, but it's all there, presented with depth and artistry. Bravo to all connected to this production, the technical designers too numerous to mention, Wayne Salento's killer choreography, and the performers, the extremely appealing Michael Cerberus as Tommy, who emanates vulnerability and strength at the same time, his mother and father, Marcia Mitzman and Jonathan Dukuchitz, with voices of gold and the acting talents to match. Paul Candell doing a riveting star turn as Wicked Uncle Ernie, and Cheryl Freeman screaming sleazy sex appeal as the Tina Turner-like Acid Queen. But most of all, deep praise for Townsend and Mackinac. They have reinvented Broadway theater, transcending all the stale boundaries, and like Tommy himself, have broken through. I'm Roma Torrey, and that's a wrap for New York One.